Pakistan may allow cotton import from India through land route as prospects of the gradual restoration of bilateral trade ties have brightened after the new ceasefire agreement along the line of control. Citing sources in the Ministry of Commerce, the Express Tribune reported that advisor to the Prime Minister on Commerce Abdul Razak Dawood may take a decision on whether to import cotton and yarn from India. He said that the issue of the cotton shortfall has already been brought to the notice of Prime Minister Imran Khan, who also holds the portfolio of the Commerce Minister. Once a principal's decision is taken, a formal order will be presented before the Economic Coordination Committee of the Cabinet. The sources said that in-house deliberations have already begun but the final decision would be taken only after seeking the approval of the Prime Minister. The trade ties between both the countries can help minimize cost of production in Pakistan and ensure sustained food supplies. India and Pakistan issued a joint statement on Thursday to strictly observe all agreements on ceasefire along the look and other sectors after the hotline discussions by their Director Generals of Military Operations. The two countries signed a ceasefire agreement in 2003, but it has hardly been followed in letter and spirit over the past several years. Relations between the two neighbors have nosedived after a series of terror attacks in India. Bilateral ties deteriorated further after India revoked the special status of Jammu and Kashmir in 2019. The move angered Pakistan, which downgraded diplomatic ties and expelled the Indian High Commissioner in Islamabad. Pakistan also snapped all air and land links with India and suspended trade and railway services. Against the annual estimated consumption of minimum 12 million bales, the Ministry of National Food Security and Research expects only 7.7 .7 million bales production this year. However, cotton ginners have given the lowest production estimates of only 5.5 million bales for this year. According to the Pakistan Bureau of Statistics, there is a minimum shortfall of 6 million bales and Pakistan has so far imported roughly 688,305 metric tons of cotton and yarn, costing 1.1 billion US dollars. There is still a gap of about 3.5 million bales that needs to be filled through imports. Due to shortage of cotton and yarn, the users were compelled to import them from the United States, Brazil, and Uzbekistan. Imports from India would be far cheaper and would reach Pakistan within three to four days. Importing yarn from other countries was not only expensive but would also take one to two months to reach Pakistan, the Daily reported, quoting businessmen who deal in these commodities. The delay in yarn import can pose risk to timely deliver the export orders, according to the paper. However, the All Pakistan Textile Mills Association is exerting pressure on the Pakistan government not to allow cotton and yarn import from India. An industry insider told the Daily that few millers have already hoarded the cotton and were now charging higher rates and import would dampen their short-term earnings. In an appeal to Abdul Razak Dawood, All Pakistan Textile Mills Association said that the import of yarn from India will directly impact cotton prices in Pakistan. India said it desires normal neighborly relations with Pakistan and is committed to resolving all issues bilaterally in a peaceful manner. Prime Minister Khan welcomed the ceasefire agreement with India and said Islamabad remains ready to move forward to resolve all outstanding issues through dialogue.